Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy JDog3015 back with another Skate 3 video. In today's Skate 3 video, I got another game save for you guys. This game save comes with all the Dr. Pepper stuff, including the Dr. Pepper hat, the two shirts, and the Dr. Pepper can man. It also comes with this sick looking pink, fully realistic board. But before we get into the skater, if you enjoy the video so far, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for weekly videos. Alrighty, so for this new skater, as you guys can see here, we got the collage of different logos on the skater. as the black hoodie, the black pants, and the what I like to call the UNK or the UNK 2.0 board. Also, I forgot to mention, we got white hands and a UNK hat as well. Now I'd like to shout out CreepyJoe123, they commented uh, on one of my videos a while back saying Can you get the OG Rumen board or L332K's Unk board with black box? And I managed to find a similar logo to the original but not quite because the original doesn't even have a black box sadly so this is the next best thing. That is also the case with the Rumen board, the OG one, there's actually no black box with it. However, I did make a video on the Rumen 2.0 board, if you haven't checked that out, it'll be in the top right corner right now. Now if we take a 360 shot of this new skater, as you guys can see here, we got the white hands, the collage in the back of the hoodie, which is black, and the unk hat and the unk board as well. Now if we swap genders right here to the girl, the exact same skater, but on the female. So if you like that, that's on the game save as well. I'm curious, what do you guys rate this skater out of 10? Is it a 10 out of 10, 4 out of 10, 5 out of 10, or 3 out of 10? Comment down below. Now if you guys don't know how to get this on your Xbox 360, stick around for a tutorial later in the video on how to do that. And if you guys want to be in the video like Creepy Joe 123 did, just comment down something what kind of skater you guys like. And please be somewhat realistic because all these logos are from 2010 to 2013. So if you say like, can I get a skater that has Fortnite on it? Unfortunately, Fortnite wasn't even made back then. Now if we go to free play right here, like I said at the beginning of the video, this save comes with all the Dr. Pepper stuff, including the Dr. Pepper can man. Alright, now let's take a closer look at these logos. So for the first logo, we got the collage of logos, including the Batman logo, the Unk logo, the Superman logo, and the Happy Face. And for the second logo is the black box, of course. Third logo is the fully realistic pink logo. And the last logo is a fully realistic yellow logo. Now we're here, I'm going to show you guys how to get that fully pink realistic board that you saw in the beginning of the video. All you gotta do is go between two, which is the black box, and three, which is the fully realistic pink logo. You can tell that it's fully realistic because if you make the black box as big as you can, it's always going to be realistic grip tape. Here I'm showing you guys when you change the color of the bottom of the board, it changes the shade of pink. Alright, so I posted a poll for you guys last week saying girl or guy for the next import, which is this import, and 62% of you guys voted for guy, so this week it's gonna be a guy. That being said, if you add me right now at import dog, I'll add you back and you can get this sick looking male skater with the Unk 2.0 board with realistic black grip tape. That's once again import dog and keep in mind I only do this import for 100 friends or up to one week because after that I'll come up with a new video and a new skater. So if you guys are viewing this like a week or two or even a month after the video has been uploaded it's probably gonna have a different skater. And if you guys have missed out on the import feel free to get the game save because I share that as well. With the game save you have the black box and all the logos that I've shown previously in the video. So if you guys want to remake the skater you can or if you don't like the skater you can also change it up as well. Now if you guys don't know how to get this game save on your Xbox 360 the tutorial is coming up right now. Just before we get into this all the download links are in the description for Horizon and the game save itself. So, before you guys do anything else, just download those links. Alright, so if you guys are doing this for the first time ever, go onto your 360, start up Escape 3, and you want to make a brand new uh, game save that has like nothing on it. This is a good way to ensure that nothing 
would go wrong um, if you're doing it from scratch, but if you already have a game save, that's okay too. Now, on your 360, you want to grab your USB stick and plug that bad boy in. And then select USB storage and then make a new game on it. I'll speed up this process so you don't have to really uh, see it all. Alrighty, so once you're set up, you want to go to edit skaters and then edit skater. Now you just want to change like one little thing and then back out so it saves. I'm just going to put this uh, little graphic on there just to ensure it's something different. So yeah, you want to have that little icon right there. It's just a saving icon. And once you get that, you can back out. I'm just going to show you guys that there's no graphics on this. Awesome. Once it's saved, you can just back out of your Xbox 360 and then you can go into your computer. Remember to unplug your USB from your Xbox 360 because you'll need that later. Now, on Horizon, you got to grab that USB and then plug it into your PC. Once your USB is in your PC, you want to start up Horizon. Once you're in uh, Horizon, you want to go to your USB storage device, you want to go to Games, you want to go to Escape 3, and then you want to go to your profile. Sometimes your profile says unknown, but then you got to check what date has been modified, basically the day that you created it. So we pull it out, and go to Contents, go to Skater P, and then go to Replace. Now when you want to place it with the Skater.P that you downloaded before, and the same thing for the RMC DEL as well. After you do that, you want to save, rehash, and resign, and then that's it. Make sure you uh, remove your USB, and then you can go on to your 360. Once again, the download for the game save will be in the description down below. Now, on your Xbox 360, all you have to do is plug in your USB into your 360. Then you want to go ahead and start up Skate 3. Now, like before, when you press Start and A, you want to select your USB storage. And make sure right here you do not connect to EA Nation, or else you lose your black box and graphics. It's very important. Remember, we went from basically having one skater and nothing to having all five skaters, and you can see in the top left there's a black box. Now I'm going to show you guys that we do have graphics, the one, two, three, four right here. Remember, before we didn't have any at all, so I'm just going to put the black box on the board right now. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. And I uh, hope you guys like and subscribe. And I'll catch you later.